everyone and welcome to day three of our adventures out west in Idaho here and well actually it's day two of my adventures in Idaho but day three of being out west so yeah guys today is Tuesday and I have a very action-packed day planned for us today we're going to be exploring uh, the Snake River Canyon and stopping at various waterfalls and state parks along the way some of those include uh, the Pillar Falls scenic overlook as well as the Perrine Coulee waterfall, which is absolutely beautiful. And you guys can see the sunrise right now, it's starting to peek through the canyon. It looks absolutely beautiful. It is such a scenic day here too. I love how there's no clouds in the sky whatsoever. And you can see how beautiful this canyon actually looks. Once the sun starts getting over it, it's gonna really look nice here. But yeah, this is just a scenic viewpoint. I think I'm actually at a little shopping center over here. I think this is a, a Walmart or something. I'm not really sure. But it's really easy when you're getting around Twin Falls to explore everything that it has to offer. And we also get a very nice view of the bridge over here if we continue walking along. And another thing I wanted to mention, guys, is I'm also going to be exploring a place called the Malad Gorge uh, State Park which is about a 200 foot drop and it features the uh, Devil's Wash Bowl, which is amazing. It's like a plunging waterfall. It plunges several feet down into this beautiful, uh, like natural pool. It's amazing. Look at this. It's getting better as we walk along here. This canyon rim trail. You guys could see there's various parts over here. You guys could go down here if you want. I'm gonna go take a look. This is just beautiful here. Oh my God. Look at this guys. We are on the edge of the canyon. Absolutely incredible. All right, guys, I'm just continuing walking along this rim over here. Looks like there's another viewpoint of the bridge, even better than yesterday, so that's good. Oh my God, this is scary over here. It's like literally a 500 foot drop. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, I'm continuing to walk along this path because there's a beautiful view over here up ahead, as you guys can see. Look how big my shadow is with the sun. <laughs> but yeah, there's a little viewpoint up here of the bridge. I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer. And then we're gonna continue our gorge exploration or canyon exploration, I should say. You guys could also see there's a bunch of stores over here. Best Buy, Famous Footwear. It's like right by a shopping center. All right, we're making our approach. Oh, this looks scary over here. Look at this. Oh my God, what a view. Look at that. That's amazing. I'm not going to the edge, guys. I'm too scared. I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> you guys could see.
beautiful views here. I'll try my best to get as close to the edge as possible. Well, this isn't too bad here. That's actually a very nice picture. All right, guys, our next stop is the Pillar Falls Scenic Overlook. And basically, Pillar Falls is, uh, the trailhead's actually closed right now, so I'm not able to walk down, unfortunately. But it's about a 486 foot uh, descent down into the uh, canyon. And then basically Pillar Falls is just like these giant rock formations. I brought my zoom lens with me, so I'm gonna zoom in and try to give you guys an idea what it looks like. All right, and it says, this overlook is donated by the Lantham Motors in the Lantham family. All right, guys. And Pillar Falls is actually way down there in the gorge. I'm gonna zoom in now and get a shot so you guys can see. This trail is very nice. That waterfall that we saw earlier, this is where it starts, right over here. Then it cascades down almost 500 feet. So yeah, guys, that last spot that I was at was not the Pillar Falls Overlook. Uh, the Overlook is actually up here. So I'm gonna just keep walking along this beautiful path. And then I think up here, I see some fencing that we could view the falls and I'll get some nice photos as well. It's a video with my zoom lens. Really chilly this morning too. It's about in the low 30s right now. It's supposed to get up to 62 today. I love this tree up ahead. I forget what these are called. That's a beautiful tree. All right, guys, I've been pronouncing it wrong. It's actually the Perna the Perrine Bridge, not Perrine. So I'm sorry for that mispronunciation. And the other waterfall too is called Perrine Coulis. I believe it's French. There's a view of the bridge back there. It's gonna be a nice little day of adventuring here. All right, we're approaching the overlook. I love how the sun's coming through the trees. Looks great. Let's see, is this it? I think so, guys. Oh yeah, you can see it now. See, there it is down there, guys. It's right over there. There's the falls. The water level's very low this time of year, too. Here's what this area looks like, though. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I gotta turn my hat around here. <laughs> Got a little twisted. I hope you guys enjoyed my morning walk along the Canyon Rim Trail here. And we got to see a, a bunch of nice sights, different viewpoints of the bridge, as well as the Pillar Falls scenic overlook. I'm gonna come back here in the future and do that hike because it looks absolutely incredible down there. But our next stop is going to be Perrine Coulee Falls. 
I'll see you there, guys. Our next stop here is the famous Brian Cooley Falls. As you can see, we're right off the road here. And I'm not sure if I'm allowed to park here because it says no parking, but I'm gonna do it real fast. Try to hurry this up. Hopefully I don't get towed. <laughs> but you can see the beautiful views over there. There's a golf course. I'm right by the, uh, I'm actually right by, it's called the Centennial Waterfront Park. And it looks like there's a trail over here. Oh my god. Look at this, guys. There it is. Oh my god, is that nice. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Oh my God, this is breathtaking. Look at that guys. All right guys, let's go get a closer look. I'm gonna go all the way behind. Oh, it looks very muddy. Definitely very wet over here, as you guys can see. Oh my God. This is amazing. Holy shit. This is just beautiful, guys. Oh my God. Amazing. We did it guys, we have made it to the waterfall. Absolutely breathtaking. Nice quick little stop off the road too. That's breathtaking. All 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the waterfall. I will see you at our next stop in the Snake River Canyon. We just finished up at the falls. Here's a view of the Centennial Waterfront Park, as well as the golf course. Absolutely beautiful. All right, we're on to our next stop here. All right, guys, welcome to our next stop here in Twin Falls. We are going to be visiting Auger Falls. It's a kind of like a river waterfall here. And let me show you this sign. You guys could see over here, Auger Falls. It's basically, um, it's basically a river waterfall. And it's absolutely beautiful here too. So historic Auger Falls is named for a short corkscrew falls in the Snake River at the north end of the park. Old timers called the bottom land between Rock Creek and the Perrine Bridge, Jennings Flats. Between 12,500 to 150 years ago, salmon runs sustained Native Americans in this area. Later, occupation by miners, homesteaders, farmers, and more laid the foundation for the settlement of South Central Idaho. Wow, and then a human caused fire in July 2010 destroyed more than 500 acres of the park severely damaging natural and historical features. Wow, that's that's really sad. It destroyed a lot of this area too. So yeah guys, this is Auger Falls. We're gonna be checking this out real quick. And I think the trailhead, actually let me go around the other side. Let me go take a look at this. Okay, so as you guys can see, here it is over here. And we are right here, so we have to basically hike along here, along the river, to go and see Auger Falls. It's a really beautiful place. By the way guys, this is also a popular uh, mountain biking spot. I, I saw a few bikers on the trail here. Alright, let's see. You guys can see I'm kind of walking on this uh, road here. I guess eventually this road takes you to the falls from what the one biker was saying. Hopefully we could find it guys. <laughs> All right guys, I think I finally found it. It's kind of hard to find too. You have to go on these bike trails and stuff. Um, but basically when you're walking through the woods, you'll eventually find a like gravel road and you just follow that all the way. And now, I'm walking down this part. I hear the falls though, I hear them in the distance. Pretty easy hike too, only a mile to get here. Oh my god, the river looks amazing. There's like some white granite boulders and stuff. Hopefully this takes me there. Definitely sounds like Auger Falls down there. This is that bridge, I believe, where you can see the falls. Yep, here it is, guys. Oh my god, we did it. I'm so glad I did this. Oh my god. Look at this.
This is amazing. I wish people didn't graffiti all over the bridge though. I hate when people do that. Really beautiful though. Definitely worth the hike. What an amazing waterfall, guys. I'm so happy I did this. I'm gonna make my trek all the way back to the car, about a mile. And as you guys can see, this is the road that I took. You just have to follow this all the way out. And our next stop is going to be Niagara Springs, part of 1000 Springs State Park. As I successfully made it back to the car, it was a nice little two mile hike here. And our next stop is going to be 1000 Springs State Park in the Niagara Springs section. Stay tuned guys, it's gonna be beautiful.